Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're um we're over here in the saloon and we're going to try and repair the radio and probably fail. Oh, repair of 20 or greater required. An examination of the radio's internal components reveals that several parts and connections were propped loose when the radio hit the floor. It should be a fairly simple repair job to get it working again. Let's repair it. There we go. It works. Evening. Evening. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I repaired your radio. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks. Uh, that's all. I think you could afford to pay me a little more. <laughs> Thanks for the caps. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Not yet. Um, actually, no, not yet. Be, ca Be careful out there. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Hey, stop pushing. It's rude. Right, let's go talk to Ringo. Last time we've been told that uh, Ringo is over here. And that he's hiding from the powder gangers. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a DLC thing or is that generally a bug they sort of missed? Well, not a bug, but, you know, erroneous placement. Right, so now the door should be unlocked, I think. Yeah, they are. All right, let's go to the gas station. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I can't stand this voice actor for some reason. I don't know why. I think he, it's the simple fact that he's been in way too many Bethesda games for way too many characters. <clears throat> I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? Oh no, no I don't. Um, did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah, <clears throat> he doesn't look very tough though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Alright. Alright, so first of all, of course we're going to loot things. I'm just looking at the textures and... Well... Yeah, th these are... Maybe, you know, maybe this game is so old that I'm a bit spoiled now and I'm expecting really good textures. So the improved textures um, that are due to the mod are just not, you know... Um, just not that impressive to me, I guess. But yeah, I think, yeah, the floor definitely is a lot improved and such. So yeah, I think the mod is working nicely. Let's take all the Sunset Sarsaparilla stuff uh he's got the oh i thought that's that was his safe and he didn't want anyone oh yeah that's the the rounds over there let's say the bottle caps out of there i'm standing on the poor man i'm gonna unlock this you take a sip from your trusty vault 13. i'll really have to check that oops almost broke the lock pick there anti-venom i'm not gonna take the baseball bat bottle caps med x red x and rebound Forgot what rebound is. Is it against... Um, whoa. He's got a lot of stuff here. And apparently, he doesn't consider it stealing. Energy cell. Red X. Um, don't want the tin cans. Alright. Let's get out and recruit some people. Come on, people. I need you recruited. Right, so first of all, Sunny Smiles, and the rest. I think the quest actually tells you. Now, the one thing I don't, don't, don't like about all the DLCs is I like my quest log tidy. You know, we would only have that if they went that away. And Ghost Town Gunfight. But we all have, we have all these DLCs things that I just want to eh, go get off. Right, anyway. 
Howdy. Howdy. He doesn't want to do anything with us. Let's go talk to Sunny Smiles first. Oh yeah, we can also talk to this guy over here. See if he'll fight for us, but he won't. Oh yeah, no, he won't fight for us. He will just give the uh, dynamite, but he's not going to do that because he's a cheapskate. Howdy. You must be the one <laughs> Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Um, alright. What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Alright. What do you know about the situation with the uh, powder gun? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Um, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Hmm. Anything you can tell me about the great cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Great. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Hmm. I'd like to know more about Mr. House. We know he's a great doctor and, you know, has a cane, but what else? I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's gotta be a good thing, right? Yeah. Right, goodbye. Take it easy now. Okay, so we have to talk to Sunny Smiles first. <clears throat> then we can talk to the rest and try to recruit them. Alright, there's Sunny Smiles. Inside the saloon. Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, a little while. I'm going to help uh, Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince <laughs> Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Alright. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. What would, uh, would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. <laughs> Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Yeah, see, this is a problem. We don't have enough barter explosives to get any of this. I need to get to Prim. I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but... There's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Oh, thanks. Um, I already cracked that safe. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep <laughs> the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Thanks. Um, right, goodbye. I'll be, I'll be waiting. We'll be watching. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. 
It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Indeed. Uh, you should help me take down the powder ganger. Uh, gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. See, we can have uh, speech here. We have enough speech. And not enough sneak. I would probably take out the powder gang by surprise if I had help. Probably. <laughs> they come out mostly at night. Mostly. I was planning <clears throat> on sitting this one out. But for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. I know. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. All right, excellent. Be careful out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go and uh, talk to Chet. And also Pete, now that I think about it. Wait a second. We probably can't get dynamite from Pete because uh, we don't have enough explosive skills. Howdy. Uh, I hear you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Yeah, see. How hard can it be? Just light them and throw. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. All right. What do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep. Yep, that's easy, Pete. Right, let's go talk to Chet, for whom we also don't have enough barter. So that's great. Actually, we could read the barter book. You looking to buy some supplies? Not quite yet. I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Yeah, we don't have enough. And even with a book, we don't have enough. The town's at stake. That has to be worth more than a few supplies. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Bastard. Yeah. Take it easy now. Yeah, a little coward. Oh well. Uh, let's go talk to... Mr. Elia Trude is going back to her house. Let's go talk to uh, Doc. He's got a big ass pole over here. That's what she said, I guess. Doc, I need. We need some of your supplies. Where is he? He's probably sitting in the main room. Yeah. It, of all the couches and everything, you take the most. Uncomfortable looking chair. Well, actually, it's not that uncomfortable, I guess, but hey. Hey. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um. The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. You know, I just rem re remembered something. Isn't this the voice actor that, uh, that did Harold in Fallout 2? Huh. I don't know. Anyway, thanks. You take care now. Of course, more raspy and says, you know, <laughs> but still. Um... Right, so we did that. Unfortunately, we can't get any of the other things. It would be nice if we found a bed so we could sleep. Because if I just wait it out... Um, it's not going to really work. Well, let's take some buffalo gourd. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. I will really have to look up that. In case it is unlimited, then I'm, you know, throwing it away. Right, uh, so we need to wait over here. Let's wait nine hours. We will need sleep, though. I do like how you can see, you know, the shadows and everything change. There we go. It's morning. Is Trudy over here yet? Pete isn't. Yeah, we'll have to wait a little more. Let's see my stats. What's my sleep? Oh. Not bad at all, actually. Where are they? Still not here. There they are. Feeling thirsty? Um. Oh no! Wait, I have to go to the other guy. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. 
All right. All right, let's go and uh, talk to the other guy. Hmm. And yeah, that has much nicer textures, I believe. Let's talk to Ringo. Our uh, varmint rifle isn't really in a good condition, but we can use our laser pistol and repair it with this one. There we go. That's in a little better condition. Oh, whoa! That little... Uh, Thingy on that. I don't remember that being there. That's probably one of the mods. Unless it's uh, a result of uh, one of the DLCs. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, let, let's talk to Ringo. Uh, Ringo? Ringo. And... Let's see what we so can do. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Yep, Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Uh, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. It's funny that you say, let's do this, and then... Time to look alive. Oh. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Yeah, exactly. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. <laughs> let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Got it. Let's hope we can take on them. Where are they? Can't see them yet. Alarm! Come on, don't get stuck on things. <laughs> oh yeah, there's people already waiting. There they are. I don't have any dynamite or anything, so uh, this is what it'll have to be. <clears throat> oh, okay. Fair enough. Let's see. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Ow. That took forever to kill him. Your health is low. I guess I can take a stim pack. Because remember, they won't heal me immediately. That was nice. Uh, what is it? Anyone dead? Oh yeah, that's just the powder gangers. You've gained karma. Wait a second, why am I still... Oh! There's another guy over there. Idolized! Yeah. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but... I know they'll understand once I explain things. Oh, thanks. I didn't hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now. Seems a little light for the you know, yeah. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Hey, thanks. All right, let's uh, loot them quickly before the others loot them. Because that does happen. Oh, guard armor, hmm. I'm not gonna take that. Because it's too heavy, and I really don't have a use for it. Um, well, these guys are half naked. 10mm round. Ah, cowboy hat, I like that. Pipe rifle, hmm. I'll take it for now. This guy's head was- oh no, I thought his head was blown off. Another varmint rifle, not bad. Baseball cap, why not? Ugh, our weight limit is only 190. Uh, anything else? Well, these guys over here, that's a lot of blood everywhere. Cleaver. Oh, I think they were already looted, these guys. Yep, they were. Alright, <clears throat> so let's see what we got. We got a baseball cap. Actually, cowboy hat. Look at that, perception plus one, and then we get some glasses and we'll have perception plus one again. Um, let's repair the varmint rifle with that one. 
and a pipe rifle with that one. Excellent. All right, so we have some equipment now. I'm glad that business <clears throat> is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Show me what you have for sale. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Excellent, thank you. Right, so what are we going to sell? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Got a lot of rounds here. Bloody hell. <clears throat> Boxing times. You know what? Um, doctor's bag. Restore limb condition. That's not bad. Duct tape. Not really sure why I have that. I'm gonna probably sell all of the dynamite. Uh, she doesn't have enough. Does she has any, does she have anything else? No, she doesn't. Hmm. There we go. Gecko hide. Yeah, that's that's fine. All right. Give me a shout if you need anything else. She doesn't have too much money, unfortunately, but that's all right. All right. Well, we've done that. That's good. So now we actually have to go out into the world and explore. We can go to, uh... Oops. We can go to Prim over here. Or Canyon... Oh no, Canyon Wreckage is the DLC stuff. It's Crimson Caravan. Oh yeah, we'll have to ask, um... Sunny Smiles about the path. The dog goes in. There it goes. <laughs> That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Exactly. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. All right. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. All right, thanks. Until next time. All right, and uh, that goes for you, my dear viewers, as well. Until next time, thank you for watching. We'll see you uh, next time when we go to Prim. Bye-bye.